Hey guys, welcome to today's video. We're gonna get chaotic, talk about makeup, play with makeup, new makeup. There's a lot of new makeup. Oh my gosh, I am in a mood already. Um, <laughs> I have so much on my desk right now. Let's just like really quickly, like eh, we got this. We have some new house labs. I'm pretty sure this is the new blush. Um, who wants to join my book club? We're gonna talk about it. I have new from Urban Decay. I have coffee. Cheers. This is necessary. Mm, wait, is it? I'm already like up here. So we're just going to get ready together and try new things, laugh a bit, kick back a bit. I have a big box I want to get into here. Ugh. But first I want to prep my skin just a tiny little bit. I am so all about this product, you guys. Westmore Beauty, the most recent Tati List activation. I am so excited with how this went. If you're not on the Tati List, sign up. It is free. The link will be in the description box below. But this product right here, I love so much. I cannot do my makeup now without putting this on first. I specifically do not use eye cream in the morning because of this. I go heavier with like my castor oil and whatnot oils at night. And then I just leave this area completely untouched in the morning knowing I'm gonna put this on. And what I like to do is put it on and let it really sink in. I try to stay expressionless. I'm gonna do something that I saw in one of the reviews. P.S. There are like 3,000 reviews on the website, on Westmore Beauty's website. People are using this on their 11s and I've got those. This stuff is insane. It gives you such like a Cinderella effect. Like it is not going to eradicate your fine lines forever, but what it does to smooth them out. Like I already think the under eye looks better. I'm not wearing a stitch of anything. And it just takes those teeny tiny lines and makes them go, I don't even know how. This does have hyaluronic acid, retinol, and vitamin E. Beyond that, there is, I think they call it a flex tensor, flex something technology. It works, it works. I'm hooked, like even my hand right here, like this little area where I picked it up on my finger to put it on underneath my eye is like smoothed out. That's hilarious. It did remove the body makeup for some reason though. I am wearing also Westmore Beauty's body makeup. Hooked on that as well. This brand is definitely something to check out. You can still use the code TATILIST30 to save 30%. It's not an affiliate link, but I will leave that information in the description box below as well. We are gonna get into this little teeny tiny bag of goods, but I wanna crack into this. This while the under eye is setting. Actually, let's just go with the chaos. I'm putting my primer on as well. This is brand new from Jane Iredell over on IG. I mentioned in stories. Now this has a ton of antioxidants in it. It's supposed to blur the skin and help the skin barrier and be hydrating. And basically, if you read about this online, it's the most dazzling primer ever. I'm excited to give this a go and it will not clog your pores either. Winning winning, winning, fragrance-free. So while I'm waiting to be properly moisturized and primed, let's check out what LYS sent me. Love your self. What the heck? This should be on display behind me. Oh my gosh. I just love anything that glitters. We have the new blushes. Okay, we're gonna have a little competition because I had wanted to try the House Labs blushes, but these are cream. Their contour stick is the most juicy, blendable, beautiful formula, period. I'm hooked. So if this is the same formula, then I'm gonna be super jazzed. Okay, so I'm gonna go in right now with La Mer, the Soft Fluid Longwear Foundation and RCMA, just a little mixture of both. Then I'll be trying this brand new, the Best Skin Ever Glow Sephora Concealer. I just picked this up, but let's slap on the foundation. Nothing to see here. I'm just gonna put it on. I just picked this one up. I don't really know why other than it caught my attention at the front of the store. This is $15, new from Sephora. This is their best skin ever glow. So this is a hydrating luminous long wear up to 12 hour wear. This is a medium coverage product and will not clog pores, comes in 30 different shades. 
I don't like that the applicator slides out without that stopper at the top to really grab some of the product off. That is my first note. Sometimes that drives me nuts and then product is kind of glopping everywhere. Okay, I would wait on buying this right now because Sephora is doing their sale soon, which I'm trying to get my list together of what I would recommend in advance. Let's see if this makes the cut. I'm immediately underwhelmed by how the doe foot applicator is and how it came out. Love Sephora so much. I think Maybelline makes better uh, concealers. And in fact, I'm gonna go into a little bit of Gucci to kind of course correct the situation right now because I'm not liking that. I'm picky, I know, I know, I know, I know. Okay, better, 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 better. Let's try out one of these LYS blushes because I just cannot resist. I have to try these. Bubbly, let's try bubbly. There are a bunch of gorgeous shades here. I will insert a swatch, but for the application with the whole pink theme that I have going on, I wanna try this one out right here. This is infused with green tea extract, watermelon seed extract, and rosehip oil. Love that pink packaging, it matches my nails. Ooh. Now I am nervous. I'm gonna take a brush. I don't like going straight on the face with cream product. Like I actually like taking the brush first. You have more control. Whoa, that is pigmented. Wow, and that was like the tiniest, littlest bit. Yo, this will last you forever. That's really pretty. I may have overdone it. Let's, uh, let's mute this down with a little bit of Givenchy. I just looked up the meaning of Corselette. This is a product from M Cosmetics. I am so excited to try this out, but Corselette is a cross between a corset and a girdle. Now this is a sculpting powder. So if you can imagine, that is what we're gonna do to the face. We're gonna sculpt and lift. And also I have to say, looking at the ingredients, this sculpting, beautiful, blurring, bronzing powder made here in the US does not have Teflon. This is also free of talc, not gonna clog your pores. So let's give this a go. There are four different shades. I have the shade Slip. This has a decent amount of pigment to it as well. That is a legit sculpting powder. I like it, I like it. I'm gonna go on the nose with this. I'm gonna take an itty bitty brush and just graze the nose. See, that does it. This is beautiful. I'm gonna go right in here to kind of meet the contouring situation, just really lightly. That is so natural, I really love that. I have one other M Cosmetics product. Let's just use it now. This is the Sunscape Highlighter. So this is gonna be a bronzy highlighter and this one is made in Italy. I believe this is a baked product. Italy is known for beautiful baked, pro yeah, there we go. Beautiful baked product, that is gorgeous. We're just gonna go on high points of the cheek, ooh. Stunning. This is like an ambient powder, but with a little bit more punchiness. The skin is looking so nice. I do really love this. All right, we're gonna get to brows and I have a couple of fun new brow items to try that I'm a little bit terrified to try, if I'm being honest. I picked these two guys up at Ulta recently. I have the Urban Decay Slick Day Brow Styling and Setting Gel Stronghold. I also have the Big Bush Brow, the Big Bush. Uh, this is a volume and building tinted gel plus hold. Now, I know that I need a little more definition than just like swiping on a brow, so I am going to use my 
Anastasia Brow Wiz that I have been obsessing over. I need to buy the full size. I have looked at three different Ulta's and they are sold out of my shade Soft Brown like everywhere. I have been fussing around with this Cure Wise brow pencil as well and this is in medium brown. I am a super high maintenance with my brows. I get it. It's because I don't really have many. So I got to make the most of what I got and I'm always down to try new things with my brows. It's a whole brow journey, you know, but I'm trying to do a little more fluffy where I take some type of gel and give it that like feathery look in the front. We're gonna check out what this bushy brow pigment fiber situation can do. I don't have a lot of hope if I'm just being honest. We're gonna try. Did it do anything? Oh, it kind of did. Is it my imagination or is that nice? I think it's kind of nice. I don't want to ruin it by going in with more. So I'm going to let this dry down for a moment. Now this slick day brow, what I thought was interesting about this was the applicator has kind of like this teeny tiny comb. I will show you guys up close. And then it has the separate side where you could almost do that like lamination and like comb it up. I feel like this might be good on mornings when I don't even want to put color in the brow and I just want them to like not be in every which direction. You know what I'm saying? I have a new lip liner from One Size Beauty. This is the shade Shy But Fly. This is, this is for me. This is my kind of thing. Okay, that's pretty. I thought it was gonna be a little bit darker, but that's okay. We're gonna play with these. This is from House Labs. This is new. I am so excited because this is a plumping, juicing, like oily gloss, gel gloss, like basically everything you could want in a lip product all in one. It is a hybrid lip glaze. I'm gonna go with the shade Macaron. I mean, we got peptides plus prickly pear oil. This is created with kindness. It is a clean, cruelty-free and vegan formula. I have high hopes. Packaging, very cute. I like it. I like the doe foot applicator. I like the packaging. I like the formulation call outs. I like that it's not too punchy in the color department, but there is enough of a tint there. I don't feel any plumping. Not much separation, even though I glopped on a ton of product because I have a bad habit of doing that. That is nice. Do we play with her blushes too? Like, like I need more blush, but I kind of want, I feel like this is a blush. I kind of want to crack into it. Okay, it is, it is. I'm so excited. Like, honestly, I'm very happy to be on this PR list. I feel very fortunate. Um, what one do I wanna do with this? That looks nice. This is Hibiscus Haze. Slam dunk, let's go. I have seen the packaging of these online and I have just been drooling. Now, I think I put in like my best of the year Lady Gaga's blush. There was like a really strawberry, I forget the name of it, but to me it looked like a strawberry color and was so bright, but it just would go on the cheeks like a sheer wash of color, but you could build it up. It reminded me way, way, way back in the day. Do you guys remember Sue Devitt, her makeup line? There were these lip glosses that looked so bright, but they left just this like wash of color and there was a color just like that and what a random thing to be reminded of um, with blush but like it just reminded me of that and the packaging on these now is elevated so gorgeous love it I think I'm gonna really really love these I'm gonna go in the tiny brush because I just don't want to overload the face with blush but I definitely want to see what this is about why am I doing this to myself I don't know I just needed it I, I just I just needed to do this it's a play with makeup day, so it's fine. Oh my gosh. That is so much pigment. Stop it right now. I need powder. Oh my, I barely dipped in. 
Okay, if you ever like play with blush a little too heavy and hard, like I just did, give it a minute and then go in and course correct with a little bit of powder. I like to take a translucent powder on the top and just kind of dull it down. But blush usually fades, so don't panic is my advice. Also, you don't need to wear two blushes at once. That was just like a me thing, but it's fine. We're just gonna continue. Okay, I do love this though. Yo, love, love, love. For eyeshadow today, I have this super random palette from Tarte. This is the Glamazon palette. I bought this at Sephora. And you guys, honestly, is everybody like okay out there? Like people that are getting pissed off about the brand trip. Like I find it to be kind of a funny thing to be pissed off about. Like if you don't wanna watch it, just like don't watch, you know, I know influencers, we can all be super spoiled. That's true, like it is. Also, if someone offered for you to go to Bora Bora, would you really like turn it down, you know? Well, yeah, maybe. I don't know, I have a lot I could say. There's a lot that I'm holding back, like brand trip, drama, things that happened when you go on these extravagant trips. It looks so fun online, but honestly, it can be super exhausting. And I know like hard eye roll, right? Like, ugh. But you're not enjoying like your own private trip. Like you are obligated to do certain things. It just, there's a weird taste to it. There's a weird thing. It's like, Oh, I, I'm gonna save this for like, when I have a podcast, we will talk about this at length. Okay, I'm gonna go in with the shade Haze and just pop this on the outer edge. Okay, do you wanna know my fantasy? Like my fantasy dream would be to go on a brand trip. Like if I got offered, maybe it doesn't have to be Bora Bora, maybe it's just like an event or something in LA or something like that, but to go on a brand trip and be like, I'll come and I'll do the photos and the IG and the stories and the video and everything. But my plus one, or maybe I could be like my plus two is gonna be off of my Tati list. And then I could invite someone to go with me. And maybe that's weird to be like, oh, you'd like to hang out on a trip with someone you've never met. But I kind of feel like when I'm talking to you guys in DMs or emails or whatever, I feel like we're on the same page. Like I feel like we would get along in real life. So. That is my fantasy, can you imagine? For someone that does not influence or do any of that at all to be like, yeah, I'm going to Bora Bora or whatever one of the big trips are, I think it'd be hilarious and fun and interesting. Like, wouldn't that be cool to see someone go on a trip like that that would never have the opportunity to go on a trip like that? I wanna make that happen. I don't know with what brand, I don't know how, but I wanna make that happen. Oh, and also like if the person came with me to go on a trip like that, like they would have to influence, like they would have to do the things, like take the pictures, trying the makeup, like they'd be like in it, like for the full experience. Like wouldn't you wanna watch those TikToks? These browns are gorgeous. I'm liking this. Tart, you did that. Another requirement would be like, for this particular experience, um, you're gonna be like 35 and over so that we could be like, in the influencer world, we would be like the old the old ladies, you know? Um, that could be fun also. <laughs> what are they doing here? It'd be so fun, oh my gosh. This eyeshadow is beautiful. Wow, and that's pigmented. Okay, this is like an unsung hero. This is like a hidden gem. This is newer, but I have not seen anyone talking about this. We're just gonna keep it kind of tart themed and go in with this quick stick, rose gold luster and brown. What was I gonna say? Oh, who wants to join my book club? So Olive and June sent me Colleen Hoover's heart bones. This is like very typical, like, oh, the girl who's the underdog, she like moves in with her dad who wasn't a part of her life or whatever. And like, then there's a rich guy somehow that lives next door and they have like this love thing. And it's like, you know, we've heard this story, but I kind of was like, well, I could use a little reading that isn't like, oh my gosh, fix your fertility and your brain. And like everything that I've been reading recently has been like research and educational and I could use a break. And how pretty is this collab that they did with Olive and June? Shades right here, perfect pinwheel. And the purple shade, which you guys know I love, Island Time. I'm not joking, I'm gonna read that. And if you guys wanna like talk about it. Oh my gosh, can you imagine like a makeup book club where we read trashy romance novels and play with makeup on a live, on Instagram, on TikTok? Who would join? Would you join? 
Also, okay, update on things I've been watching. Oh my gosh, the new look on Apple TV. Shut the front door. That is such a beautifully done series. I am so all about it. New episode comes out on Wednesday and I will be watching. Oh my gosh, Coco Chanel, Christian Dior. The story of the two of them in Paris during World War II. Fascinating. So that happened. My no makeup makeup look was utterly unsuccessful. And now we're gonna put on false lashes. So let's uh, curl mascara and pop on some new effortless lashes from Velour Lashes. They sent me the most gorgeous PR box. It's a little excessive, but really nice um, presentation. And this is my favorite lash glue. They just make the best lash glue. I'm gonna try Effortless Lash Kit. This is a lash band that you do not have to trim and it is beginner friendly. This comes with your applicator and your glue. So this is kind of the all-in-one guy right here. I'm gonna go in with Maybelline Lash Discovery because I don't have another mascara in front of me, but it's fine. When I'm putting on falsies, you really do not need to overdo the mascara. You just wanna coat them. Let the lashes be center stage, the false lashes. Did that make sense? This is a beautiful mascara. Like even like on the top lashes, it's a teeny tiny wand. You can do detailed work with it. It is gorgeous. I put this in my rediscovering drugstore favorites video. I will link that below. I do have more exciting things coming for the Tati list. I'm thrilled with how this is going. A lot of brands are reaching out. They wanna do cool things. They want to participate and we're kind of like leveling up a little bit each time, which is really fun. So make sure that you are on the list. I'm trying currently to work out a particular one that would be so good. And I'm not sure it might be Thursday, it might not. That was a very non-committal like promo, but Thursday's video will be hot. You know, I forgot, I forgot to set my face. I am into this. Now I have been opposed to an aerosol setting mist for a minute, but man, they do really work. Like I remember doing a Tip Tuesday way back when talking about if you're in a serious pinch, you can use hairspray as a setting mist. And I don't recommend that. We have better formulations now, like technology has advanced and you know, One Size Beauty is literally making a product that is safe for the face, that does the job beautifully, that is a similar idea, just you know, waterproofing your makeup and it's in an aerosol formula. And this one really works. Like, yo, so good. Done. I really love this makeup. I tried so many new things that I absolutely immediately liked. I'm gonna try more colors of the House Labs, the LYS. I actually am surprised that I really like the bushy brow situation from Urban Decay. Should we try the other one really quick on the way out? Yeah, let's do it. Let's just for 2.2. Let's see if we can get these up. Oh yeah. Oh, that did something. Everything today worked really, really beautifully. I'm so impressed and I really even love the lashes. Everything's good. I loved hanging out with you guys. Thank you so much for being here and just chilling while I try new makeup. I love this kind of a video. If you do too, make sure you thumbs it up, subscribe and ring the bell before you leave. Be sure to hop on and join the Tati list if you have not yet. Info will be in the description box below. We are gonna continue doing cool things, more giveaways, events, and different announcements are on the way soon. I love you guys so much. Go and have a good one, whatever you are doing, and I will see you in my next video. Mwah.